everyone, Letty here. Welcome to day 25 of my Christmas in July crafty series. I'm using crepe papers, mittens, and mistletoes today. I'm going to be using a cut apart stamp sheet to make some cards. So welcome back everyone for hashtag PPP Christmas in July today. I'm using crepe papers, mittens, and mistletoe. I have used this for several projects so far. This is a 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, I think this was maybe the collection that came out last year. I'm not for certain. I just know that it's an older collection. So this is single sided 12 by 12 paper. And one of the things that comes in this paper pack is a, a sheet that has nothing but stamps. And so I wanted to try to make some cards using these little stamps to try to give you some inspiration of how you can add them to your cards. And I, I like that everything is very even. You don't lose any of the images. You can just cut them up very, very straightforward. So again, this is cards using cut apart stamps. I did make uh, 12 different cards. I used three whole sheets of paper, one with the stamps and two regular papers. I'm using some Santa Sweets Doodlebug stamp set here for my sentiments. Also calm and bright. It's a stamp set by Echo Park. So I did use the little uh, happy holidays and I did do some uh, stamp surgery on that one. Celebrate Christmas by Echo Park and I use a little snowflake. You do have a ton of little snowflakes on this stamp set. So those are the three main stamp sets I used. Maybe a couple of extra scraps from my stash. I did bring in this Uniball Signo white gel pen or pen. And then I also did bring in the Pigma Micron 3 pen for some doodle lines. And so I made 12 A2 size cards. I did use three sheets of paper. I popped up some elements with foam dimensional tape from Dollar Tree. So these are going to be the cards that I made and I did do some different variations. This one has just some scattered stamps. These are flat glued flat to the front of the card, added some little stamps, added some gemstones, added a sentiment. On this one, I have a set of six stamps up in the top as like a little rectangle and then I have a sentiment at the bottom. You can see here, I did the same design only I popped up the stamps on the foam dimensional tape. So you can see the difference there. So it does pop up a little bit nicely. I added some enamel dots and then I added a sentiment at the bottom. So here's just a side-by-side -side comparison. Here's a set of nine, so three rows of three. Those are flat and then I added my popped up sentiment at the bottom and then a glued on sentiment at the top as well. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison of what it looks like once you pop up the little stamps with some foam dimensional tape. So I think in all scenarios, I like it popped up a little bit more than just the flat. Here is just some kind of wavy, curvy lines, zigzags of the stamps. And here's another one that has three of them, three lines. And I added some additional embellishments at the bottom. Here's one that has four lines of those kind of wonky zigzag stamps. I just overlapped them, laid them flat. Here's one that has three lines, but I did pop them up on foam dimensional tape. I also popped up the sentiment, which is on a little stitch circle. Also on foam dimensional tape, added some embellishments to the side. You see there it's very dimensional. And then here's one where I did like a frame. And then I did do my sentiment in the middle. I added a couple of doodle lines just to kind of break up for some more interest. Here's another one where I have a full panel of stamps and here's the difference between when it's popped up and when it's not. This one also has stamps right in the middle as well and I'm covering up some of it with the sentiments. Here's one where it's actually popped up and so comparing to the flat one, so you can see here it is popped up a little bit. Again, I think I like the ones that have it popped up a little bit or raised. So again, I made 12 cards using some stamp cut apart sheets from the Mittens and Mistletoe by Crate Paper, pa Paper Pad for hashtag PPP Christmas in July. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you're getting a ton of inspiration with all of these crafty projects that I'm making. Here's my Christmas playlist just in case you want some more inspiration. Happy holiday crafting.